good morning and welcome to the webinar. Um, my name is Simon Hansen. I'm Chief Strategy Officer here at Voice Group. I'm coming to you today from a customer hotel on the banks of Lake Maggiore in Italy, near Milan. It's uh, a wonderful place, but what's even more wonderful is that we can travel again as, as consumers, uh, as hoteliers, and as partners to, to hoteliers. I think we are finally starting to see the end of the tunnel that has been the recent situation with COVID-19. And really now it's about maximizing the opportunity in the run up to the key trading periods of Christmas uh, and the gifting season, which will be upon us very soon, uh, starting normally with Black Friday. And that's what we wanna talk and discuss with you today. We're gonna to talk about gift cards. This is gonna be an interactive session. Uh, and what I mean by that is we are not only gonna talk a little bit about the background, but we're also gonna have a hotelier panel uh, I'll introduce those guys in a moment. One of them is running a little bit late, stuck in meetings. Um, so I need to pad out a few minutes. No, I'm only kidding. There's plenty of good content here that we can, that we can share with you. Um, and we're also going to run you through a demonstration of the technology of the platform itself. But really, I want to focus primarily today not on the, on the platform and how easy that is to use, but, but really on the benefits and, and what the advantages are of a compelling gift card offer. Um, before we do that, let's maybe do a few introductions. Uh, as I said, I'm Simon. I'm, I'm Chief Strategy Officer here at Voice Group, uh, and I'll be your host today. We also have a couple of uh, esteemed customers with us. Daniel, will you fire up your video, please? Uh, Daniel Gustafsson. Hi. He's Hotel Director at, at Stora Hotelet in, in Sweden. Uh, and we will also be joined shortly by Johanny Rajella, who's the Group IT uh, Director at at Camp Hotels, which is part of Nordic Choice now in, in Finland. So to both of you, very much a welcome. We'll, we'll ask you lots of questions in a few moments time, but, but great to have you on board. Um, the third sort of key area of people today, and I'm not sure who's gonna be doing this because Andreas Backlund in our Finnish team was scheduled to do it, but called me last night to say he's feeling awful uh, and he might lose his voice. So we also have Terry Reitman also from our Finnish team lined up just in case of, of voice failure or general feeling rubbish at the moment. There's a lot of it about. So, so I just wanted to introduce everybody uh, to the call uh, or on the call. What's the format of today? As I said, the format for today is an interactive workshop on all things gift cards. Uh, the idea is to exchange info, to exchange experiences, what works as well as what doesn't work, because there are certain tricks to making this happen. Uh, but also to answer your questions. And you'll notice here in the uh, Zoom format that there is a Q&A button in the middle of your screen, or it's in the middle of my screen, so hopefully it's in the middle of your screen. If you have a question, write it into that Q&A function or the chat function, but preferably the Q&A function. And what we'll do is we'll ask those questions at the end of the session uh, to our customers or to our technology experts from within Hoist uh, to help you, you know, help, help you address all, all the questions, concerns, uh, et cetera, that you have with all things gift cards. In a moment, we'll turn to the hoteliers on the panel for their insights um, uh, on what works and what doesn't work. Um, and then, as I say, at the end, we will actually show you the technology platform itself. But before we do that, let's set the scene a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of slides. I promise it's not gonna be death by PowerPoint today. Uh, that is absolutely not the plan. Um, but let me just pull up those slides and share a screen here. Uh, and here we go, share. And that's the wrong screen, of course, to me. Just another note as well, we are recording this session today. So if you've got any colleagues who might be interested in the output of it, uh, you know, don't hesitate to forward them the recording uh, because uh, we are doing it for that very purpose. I appreciate that not, not everybody can, um, can be in the room at the same time. Um, so a little bit of background here. What about demand for gift cards? Well, we went and spoke in June and July this year to more than 600 consumers. This wasn't specifically at hotel customers because that would skew the results a little bit. We wanted to do this research uh, on the back of a general cross-section of uh, society. 
Uh, we did it in a couple of different countries as well. So there's different geographies uh, applied here, including a separate one that we did for the Middle East and Africa region, where there's a slightly different dynamic. But regardless of what the geography was, the 600 plus people that we spoke to came back with a very, very powerful message here in terms of demand for gift cards as a platform. First of all, we've got a job to do as an industry because approximately one quarter of them didn't know that gift cards existed for hotels, okay? Um, so in terms of our education piece to the market, both as hoteliers and as technology providers in Hoist Group, um, I think, you know, I think it's up to us to really create the sort of compelling offers and the like that, that are going to attract people in and are going to spread awareness, not only so you can monetize this, but also so that the widest possible uh, cross-section of society knows that gift cards are available, especially in this key trading period. And the, and the gifting season really starts with Black Friday at the end of November. It runs through Cyber Monday into Christmas and right through to the new year. But there are plenty of other key trading dates to focus on for gift cards. We'll come on to details on that uh, in a few moments time. What was very interesting is the next stat is more than three quarters of those 600 plus people that we spoke to said that they would consider booking hotel rooms or packages here. It's not just about your room stay. It could be an inclusive package with, with other features of your hotel or with partners of you. If you're partnered with a golf course, that could be included. If you've got your own golf course, that could be included or your own restaurant. Um, three quarters of them would say, say that they are, that they would definitely consider buying a package typically for a loved one or for yourself. Uh, and I think this is partially because gift cards are very attractive, but I think we should also not underestimate the value of how frustrated people have been not being able to travel throughout lockdown and how keen they are to get out there and to visit your hotels and to visit the wonderful areas of the world that, that you all operate in today. Um, and we should grab that opportunity now and you should grab and monetize that opportunity. I think that's the message today. And in terms of monetization of that opportunity, what's also interesting is that these people are prepared to spend. The average spend is somewhere between 100 and 200 euros. That's a lot of money for most hoteliers, especially in a low occupancy post-COVID world. So, so there is an opportunity here to really sort of create a, a nice package or two for your hotel. And we'll talk about that in more detail a little bit later uh, with Daniel and with Johanny. Um, of, of, you know, of what really works and what doesn't. Don't be shy on that because people are willing to spend here, I think is the message. And then the final point is when to do this. Well, the gifting season is not just Christmas, but obviously Christmas when it comes to giving gifts, unless you're American with Thanksgiving, is kind of the, the, the biggest event of the year. And, and really, you know, there is time still now to get a compelling proposition up and running and to get everything in place, including integration with payment systems, which is another part of, uh, of this ecosystem that needs to take place. Um, so it's definitely not too late to be able to be up and running with, uh, with, with a really compelling gift card offering uh, for the rest of the year. Why should you do this? Well, here's the thing. The data we have had, and we've been working with gift cards for a good number of years now providing them, is that this is typically an incremental revenue stream or distribution channel for hotels. It's a different use case. It's typically a gift for a loved one, uh, although not exclusively, there are other great examples of it. And it creates an opportunity to spend that doesn't exist with your normal sort of corporate or leisure stays in hotels. Our research from our customers shows that at least 80% or typically 80% plus of what is sold on gift cards does not cannibalize from other distribution channels. And what that means is that this is adding a new revenue stream to your hotel. How big is that revenue stream? The answer is uh, it can be enormous depend, or it can be tiny. It depends how much you put behind it. We'll talk about that in a few moments time as well. And I'm sure the hoteliers will as well. But let me just give you one example. We had a rollout about this time last year to a corporate customer of ours. This is a fairly large hotel group who targeted a campaign for uh, Black Friday last, uh, last year. They got it really right in terms of what to go for. They put it on their website. So they promoted it there. They came up with a range of really compelling offers and they shouted about it like crazy on their social media to give them a more sort of interactive marketing channel. And the result was phenomenal. 
in a little over 24 hours, they sold more than 20,000 gift cards and generated a revenue in excess of a million and a half euros in a little over 24 hours. Now, not everybody has the, the benefit of being a group with multiple hotels, uh, but there's no reason that sort of volume of transaction and of business um, cannot be realized, albeit pro rata to the size of your property, okay? So I just wanna to touch on that. Putting together gift cards is one thing, but really promoting gift cards properly, is something we'll talk about with Daniel in a moment and Johanny a little bit later. Uh, but it's absolutely essential if you're gonna make this a success. And if you're wondering how much you can make on gift cards, I've just changed my screen. Can you see my current screen or has it stayed on the PowerPoint presentation? Daniel, maybe you could shout at me. Uh, on the PowerPoint. You're still on the PowerPoint. Okay, so let me stop and reshare. Now we see you. <laughs> uh, you lucky people. I'm sorry about that. I'll get you back onto the, uh, uh, onto the other screen that I want to show you in a second. So it should hopefully come up with uh, a link to the Hoist website. Okay. And in the Hoist website, we're running a campaign at the moment on gift cards. So the address you need to go to is hoistgroup.com and forward slash uh, gift card manager, I think it is with hyphens between uh, gift and card and manager or, or Google it. Um, and within the pages there, you actually have a calculator tool. The calculator tool is very, very simple. Uh, so go to hoistgroup.com, seek out gift cards and in the tool, click on get started. It'll ask you what your star rating is. Let's say you're a four star hotel with uh, business uh, with leisure facilities. It'll ask you how many rooms you've got two simple questions, and then it will spit out a value. And this value is the sort of value based on historical data that we have with our thousand or so plus customers that we have on gift cards today, on what a properly run campaign for a hotel of this profile is likely to generate over the course of the next three years through the gifting season uh, as a result of gift cards. And as you can see there, that wasn't a massive hotel. Uh, it was only 140 bedrooms, which is a random number I chose. Uh, the, the input there or the feedback, if you want, the output, if you like, is phenomenal. You're talking serious amounts of money, okay? There's no guarantee on this. You have to do your part as well as a hotelier. You do need to promote it. You do need to come up with compelling offers. But there's no reason that you can't add a seriously compelling additional channel to market and capture this market if you're not already doing so through the, through the use of gift cards. So I'm going to pause there in terms of sort of the monologue uh, from Simon. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, um, but just in terms of uh, in terms of where to go to get that, remember it's on our, our website at hoistgroup.com. We're going to start with our customers now. So Daniel, now it's your turn, and we'll introduce you, Harney, when when he joins us. We're expecting him around twenty past the hour as he concludes his meeting. Um, but Daniel, if you'd like to just start off by telling our audience a little bit about who you are. Uh, and what you do, and then we'll talk about then I'll fast some questions on gift cards to you. Uh, hi, hello, my name is Daniel. I work in Store Hotel in Fjallbacka. We are a small hotel with 23 rooms and uh, relax. Um, yeah, so we're living in the coast in Sweden. Uh, if you heard about Kevin Lechberg, she wrote all her books about the murder in Fjallbacka. So what do they say? Don't piss the writer, you will be killed in the next book. So we, we keep it easy. <laughs> we'll try and not kill you with gift cards in, in, in this presentation. <laughs> Definitely not in the hotel. Daniel, welcome to the call. Thank I, you. I guess the first question here for, for our audience is, you know, when did you get started with gift cards? What was the background to this? And what, what did you like about, about the proposition here that made you go down this journey in the first place? Uh, well, I had a really good seller from uh, Hoist who came over to me and said, can we take a coffee? Of course, we can take a coffee. And he said, I have something for you. We will open a hotel uh, and uh, was the beginning of the myth of the COVID pandemic. And he showed the gift card solution and we looked at it. But yeah, mm, it's quite easy to just print it out themselves. And we thought about a little bit more about it and showed a little bit more. And we said, okay, we try it. We give it a few days and try it, see how it works. Uh, and it was the best thing we did, actually. It had been so easy to sell the gift cards right now. Uh, even if you sell it over the counter, we just log into the shop and do it by 
to the customer directly and they get an email and we print it also out for them. So this is the best way to also for our uh, economic woman to keep track on it. Uh, and we don't forget to change. We had a paper before and we changed the number on it. And uh, oh, oops, we forget to change the number. So some uh, some um, gift card have the same number, same date. Oops, we oh oh, sorry, we didn't change the year. Mm, okay, so this is so easy to do online, uh, and the people do they buy them, them them they are buying them by themselves. So I just get an email every time you are selling a gift card. So this is really nice to see, uh, and our the economy is really happy because now she don't need to try to hunt me down to see, oh, what is this gift card for? What is this? You have this two of the same. So this was just a really good solution we bought. Uh, and I'm really happy for it. Fantastic. So we had it for one and a half year, I think it's right now. Fantastic. So just to sort of recap on some of the points there, what you're doing is you're using two distribution methods, a direct method online by your own gift card, fill yeah. you get on with it, but also a physical gift card to a, a guest, might be a returning guest or something. Yeah. Yeah. would you like to buy a, a voucher towards another state? So yeah, you know, uh, when they're checking in, so we have also, yeah, this is for Hoist now. We have also the smart shine system on our televisions. So we also present the gift cards on uh, all the screens mm -hmm. uh, in the rooms, all the television in the rooms. We start with our info channel and there we have the presentation of our gift cards. So they also already see in the, in the rooms when they're checking in. Um, so we do a quite promotion on it also for the uh, guests and also if you have problem with a guest who said I'm not happy with this uh, then I will give them a voucher from a gift card from uh, the gift card manager and say I'm happy to take care of you one more time please give us a try uh, we are so sorry we, we didn't do anything good but we will try one more time to do the Thank best for you for service recovery as well yeah. less of bad experiences that's interesting What's the sort of profile of, of your guests in the hotel? And, and the second part of the question is, what are the sort of offers that you bundle together? What, what are they like to see there? What, what, what really sort of gets them excited other than free money if they've had a bad experience? Let's <laughs> part that one for, for a moment. Let's, let's look on what I guess are the majority of your gift card usages, which is people yeah. buying. Uh, who's buying? The majority them? is coming for the food uh, and for the stay. Uh, we have a Swedish famous chef who's our head chef. Uh, so people travel from quite the distance in Scandinavia right now to visit us just for the food. Uh, so it's all from my age, 38, and up to, yeah, I think this Sunday I checked out a couple who was like um, a little bit over 90. Wow. Just travel to Fjallbacka to get a little bit of cozy. Uh, it's still a little bit warm. You can sit and relax in the sun and just, yeah, take their breeding, the ocean breed. Lovely. And so yeah. lots of people coming for the food and for uh, our good hospitality. And when you put packages together with gift cards, are you combining accommodation and food? Is it? Uh, yeah, we have, yeah, we have tried with... both of them. We are selling, we have been selling all package mm -hmm. uh, with stay and make and, uh, and a five dinners course. And also to buy, they can show the value for themselves, how much money they want to put in, in the gift card. And we see a lot of people have been buying um, when they can show the money, how much money they want to put in the gift card. That's the most popular right now. But also when we have a Black Friday we had last year, um, Devo was giving extra. We, I think we was giving them 20% extra of the value they, who they bought. So it was also quite good sell for us. Okay. Um, so lots of people is, uh, yeah, most, the, the mostly they do is to shop for the value. They will say, I want to buy a gift card for this much money. Fantastic. Can you hear me? Okay, it seems uh, it seems my internet connection is a little bit unstable, but 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 we'll plow through. And if I drop out, I'll I'll come straight back in if if necessary. So uh, apologies for that, folks. But but just to sort of summarise with, with with Daniel's experience there, they're a, a destination hotel, if you like. There's a cultural yeah. and literary uh, function with famous author who is from the region. Uh, don't get murdered, please, if you go there. It's it's all fiction. I hope it's not reality. It's fiction. <laughs> and the second thing is they have a fantastic restaurant. And so what you're doing here, Daniel, is you're creating packages that combine the hotel and all it has to offer with the food and beverage operation as a bundled package uh, that your guests seem to love. That's, that's, that's a yeah. really smart uh, 
that's a really smart way of approaching this. Um, there's a question come in from Ketrin as well uh, on how we redeem vouchers online and the value. Um, Ketrin, we will answer that question. We'll take that to the Q&A section a little bit later once we've done the demo. In fact, if uh, Andreas Santero and are, are hopefully well Watching. I see they're online. Um, can you can you show that when we when when we come to the the online demonstration part? Um, in terms of in terms of advice to give to other hoteliers on the call, Daniel, you know what what are the pitfalls? What works? What doesn't work in terms of seasonality, keeping it fresh? What have you tried that's been a failure? Because I'm sure not everything you've done with gift cards has been a roaring success. So you know what are the pros and cons here? What is, what is the advice you give? Yeah, actually, we forgot about the gift card system for uh, a few months, uh, and that we see that we win, where we don't change the. Sometimes you need to do some updates on it. You need to change the package. You need to do something. You need to show that you're working actively with it. We forgot it a few weeks, uh, like three months actually, uh, during a high season last summer, and that was not good. So you need to be in there and change the package, and then this they see that you are working with it that you are taking care of it um as you're changing your uh, package by the season or what you have uh, we have everything from the christmas table that you can book for us uh, sometimes but we can't have the christmas table still in january after the christmas table let's do early to sell it people look at it yeah they, they never use this site it's not good uh, so we are trying to change it all the time after the which time we are in, what are we going to sell next? Yeah, there's the lobster season. Then we need to put up the lobster package. So we're changing also it. Now we are talking to do a um, uh, gift card for our Scandinavian resort with our other hotels. To Can we, can we sell the gift card through the whole um, resort with our, our other hotels? How can we do that? And there also always have been a good um, uh, help with this. So it will be actually we can sell also for other our others uh, hotels, and that's a quite nice solution. So just to summarize, the sort of advice there is: don't let it go stale. Change it. Yeah. You know, rotate your offer depending on what's ahead of you. If it's Easter, you shouldn't have Christmas offers. If it's Valentine's Day, you shouldn't have the January diet offers. It should be all about opulence and enjoyment, that sort of thing. Okay, that's that sounds like <clears throat> that sounds like very sound advice. Thank you for that. We also have our, our second panelist has just joined us. Johanna, you don't get away. We we've seen you come in there. So so uh, Daniel, thank you so far, and we'll bring you. you back in a moment. But Johanna, welcome to welcome to the the webinar this morning. Thanks for for joining us. Thank you. Um, do you want to just give us a, a couple of moments intro as to who you are, who you represent? You know who. Camp Hotels Collection Stroke Nordic Choice Hotels are in, in Scandinavia. Tell, tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, hello, and I, thanks for asking to join uh, into this webinar. My name is Juhani Raila. I work as an IT director for Camp Collection Hotels in Finland. We are part of Nordic Choice Hotels, uh, but we are operating 10, 10 uh, luxury hotels in Helsinki, Finland. Uh, and we have all the hotels located quite nearby uh, each other. So we've... Uh, done a lot of brand work so that we are separating the hotel and their identity and look and feel of each other so that we are really, really tight on segmentation on, uh, on a customer side. But my, my role is, is uh, to, to look on the technical development of the customer journey and the tools that we use and the digital, uh, digital customer journey. And so that, that's kind of my role. Fantastic, thank you for that. And just coming sort of specifically to gift cards, you know, how do you leverage them across your hotels? You know, how do you use them? How do you drive value? You know, what works, what doesn't work? What, what advice would you give to fellow hoteliers who, who maybe haven't taken that plunge yet uh, or only just starting this journey? You know, how does Camp Collection drive value through gift cards? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question and difficult one. But, but maybe my easy answer is that if, if we think about gift cards as a business overall, I think that's one of the easiest way to, to earn uh, customer satisfaction and, and earn revenue. There's a lot of other ways you can drive revenue, but I think gift card is actually one of the easiest way to do that. But you need to have a thorough plan and you need to have clear vision and strategy how you want to do that. But, but then in terms of technologies and systems and, and, and processes, it's super simple. It, it's super simple. It's much easier than trying to, to, to build add-ons or something else 
packages that you want to sell. So uh, I, I think it's just a kind of like have a plan and, and start moving forward. Uh, and, and also what, what we've been using that you, you have to be uh, where the customer are. You have to give the possibilities, uh, for example, when you want to sell the gift cards, it, it needs to be both online, but it needs to be also on site at the hotels and the physical locations. People need to, we as human, human beings, we, we like to also feel something tangible. So it's, and for us, it's important that there's the same look and feel that you get from the hotel brand. And when you're standing at the lobby or looking at the art at the reception, you get the same feeling when you're actually touching and seeing the, the actual gift card in, in, a, in the nice way that it actually created. And when, uh, you do this, when are you promoting this to customers? Is this on check-in? Is this on check-out? Daniel, our, our other panelist, was talking about how they push this on their TV platform for both in-house and digital as well. What, what happens at Camp Hotels Collection? Well, I think there's, there's like, uh, it, it's, it's up to you what you come up. Like between different seasons, we, we, we because it's, it's quite seasonal business. So there's some base, baseline throughout the year, but you can see the seasonal effect quite, quite heavily. So basically what we do is that we have them in the physical places, we have them established and, and available all the time. So you can see it and, and, and you can get the idea of, of actually purchasing some and a gift card. We, we might have them at the hotel rooms so that you can just grab it with you and you can then pay it at the reception at the checkout. Uh, at the Christmas times, we, we might have Christmas trees where you actually have in, in, in the Christmas tree, you have a lot of gift cards, so you can just pick one if you want to. And then, then of course, in, in the kind of digital perspective, we do drive a lot of campaigns for our loyal, uh, loyal guests to, to, to also promote the possibility to, to purchase a gift card. And, and, and we try to make it as, as easy as possible so that you can actually then easily deliver those to, to your home. So you don't have to leave anywhere. We, we can deliver the physical cards to, to your home or directly to your uh, uh, person who you want to give it as a gift with a nice letter. Super simple is the, is, is, is the answer there. And super, super, I guess, uh, distributable. What, what works in terms of your profile of hotel? Hotel. You're, you're upscale hotels, you know, you're, you're largely city or thereabouts. Um, you know, you have a slightly different profile to Daniel's Hotel, which is much more destination, foodie. You know, what's, what's, what's the Camp Hotel Collection sweet spot on gift cards? I think we're going to go onto your website maybe as part of the demonstration in a minute through, through Andreas and Tero. But, but if you want to just sort of brief the audience about, about you know, what, what, what shifts in numbers for you? Yeah, we... So, so what we want to do is that we, we want to offer some kind of exclusivity or some kind of luxury. So when, when you're purchasing uh, the gift card, it, it needs to be a kind of packed product so that you actually feel that you're getting something else than just booking a, a room. So, so we try to package those in different formats so that you get the sense of uh, luxury when you buy, buy the package. And, 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 and then, of course, we depending on the seasons, depending on the package, sometimes we want to promote with, with uh, very good pricing as well. Uh, so, so then you basically are able to get some benefits in the price wise as well. But that's, that's for us, that's never the number one uh, for, for doing sales to kind of keep discounts, but more, more or less create, create value through the uh, experience that you will be receiving. And, and and the brand is kind of really important for us because the person who is receiving the gift, the, the value comes from that. That you, you, When you're purchasing a gift card, you want to make sure that the person you are actually giving it is happy about it and appreciate the gift. And so we, we try to package it so that we can make sure that the end customer who's actually receiving the gift card is happy. And then we are happy as well. Okay. Great, great. Thank you for that, um, for that insight. I think it's probably time now to sort of move to, to Andreas and Tero to, to show the audience perhaps uh, a little bit of how simple the setup is. Hey, Tero, welcome to the call. Um, 
Andreas, obviously your voice is, you've lost your voice with, with your illness, so apologies for that, but Tero is a, a very fine stand in there. Um, Tero, if you would just perhaps show the audience a little bit how, how super simple this is to, to sort of set up and to manage and administer. Uh, if we could spend the next five or 10 minutes, maybe with live commentary from Daniel and Johanny, feel free to contribute here. Um, a little bit of how, of how a gift card shop looks, an e-gift card shop in, in this instance. Yeah, I will do that. And as can you see now my screen? Perfectly. Yeah, that's great. Yes. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, sorry for that, that I need to back up Andreas because he can't really speak at the moment, but hopefully you can, can stand with me. So uh, I will show you a bit uh, and uh, what, how the gift card shops look like and what are the important things in there. Uh, actually quite good covering what Johanny uh, was saying, for example. So <clears throat> here is some, just, uh, I think the best way is to just show some examples. And, and to start with, here is, for example, a hotel from, from Stockholm in Sweden. As you can see, we always want to do it to look like your brand, because as like Johanny said, uh, it's important to, to, to actually, it's your brand, what the customer wants to buy. So it's important that the shop looks and feels like your brand. And of course, your products will be then visible, visible with, your, with your pictures and, and your products. And as if we go through a couple of examples, here is one example from Camp Collection, Indigo in Finland and Lapland Hotels in Finland. So you can see that we can make and will make the, 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 the shop look and feel to your brand. So that is very important because then the customer feels that he's buying it from the correct place and, and exactly the, the, uh, the brand he was looking for to buy as a gift. Well, second important uh, thing that we, uh, what the, the platform allows is that, uh, as we have already spoken about packages and the good deals, here you can see that, uh, that for example, not, we are not just selling money, but also possible to, to create packages like a perfect gift here. You get the room with the dinner with a special price, for example. And this is important for the customers because they are actually looking for good deals. You know, it's like hunting mushrooms. You want to find mushroom and now, now you just found it. This is your mushroom, the good offer that is now that you can buy for your friend. And as Johanny, for example, said that uh, now it's important that the, also the end customer will get a good feeling about it. And uh, <clears throat> let's take one example from, from here. Here you can see uh, good package, for example. It's a loud package. Somebody, you have a good deal, especially you're getting a nice package with a nice, nice price, actually. And the, the good thing is that, for example, here, online shop, it's really straightforward uh, shopping process. You just open the product, add it to the card, type in your name. And if you want to order it by email, or plastic card or whatever is a concrete piece of metal or something. Uh, you can order it both ways. You can write your message here and then just you go to pay, pay online. So that the shopping process is really clear and, and straightforward, which makes, uh, we can see the conversion is, is, is great. So once you have purchased the gift card, you will get an email with that uh, of the receipt of, of, of the payment and also, of course, the gift card itself. And just to show you a couple of examples, here is a gift card from Hotel Haven in Finland. But we can look at, make it look very different as based on your brand. It's just to give some examples. And this is something that, that kind of that now, now the, the whoever receives the gift card will actually feel that, you know, now I got a nice gift. So the guest journey is, is really straightforward, fast, and looks like your brand. Uh, then let's take, somebody had a question about, I will show it already now, then let's complete the guest journey. So now I, for example, had received this gift card. So it is actually a package gift card in Grand Deluxe in Hotel Haven. 
Let's imagine that I was the actual receiver. So I have gift card number here. I'll take it. I'm going to the camp collection website. We are now in, in their boogie engine. There's a link saying I want to use my gift card. I will enter the gift card number. It will tell me that, yes, you're now actually purchasing a fall in love package and it's expires in, in, in a year ago. I want to use it. It tells you that what is the actual package and then you just go and book now. So it, this the, the, the whole journey from actually somebody purchasing the gift card, receiving that, giving that to the, the, the end user who can take the gift card and go to your, your boogie engine, actually redeem it straight online. Uh, very straightforward and easy guest journey. And you, you just receive the money and eventually they just come up in the reception. Then somebody had a question about how to redeem that uh, inside the hotel. Let's see, uh, if they don't use that online, you will have a tool uh, uh, online that you can log in. And there you, you go to redeeming phase. It's just simple at the gift card number. You will find the gift card. You open it, you can see more details, you know, numbers, expiration date, you can change the expiration, blah, blah, blah. You can even see some uh, reclamation re refund or for example, the you can communicate that this is done, done for example, for a refund. And then you can redeem it completely or partially. And that's it. So it's very easy and straightforward in the hotel when in the reception to, to, uh, to redeem the card. Question for Johanny or for Daniel here. I mean, we, we, we talk about the ability to partially redeem a gift card or fully do it. So you can do you know, half the value now and half later or any combination that you, that, that you have thereof. What, what's used in reality today by your customers? Are they redeeming typically the full gift card value in one go or are they, are they slicing and dicing it? What's, what's typical usage there? Consumption, I should say. Uh, yeah, for us, it's basically full value that they are using, 99.9%. .9%, so. Uh, we, we do sell these kind of open value gift cards where you, there might be uh, some, some part of the gift card which might not be used, but 99% of the cases, it, it's actually a, some kind of package that you want to buy. And, and then it's full you, value redemption. Yeah, so then your re redemption is for full, full value of it. And how about you, Dan? Thanks, Johnny. How about yeah, yeah, it's the same. Uh, to 99% is the full value. I think I have used the other one one time just. Uh, to partially just almost to the full value that's great thank you for that sorry i interrupted you terry crack on it <laughs> no problem uh just a quick sneak peek what else you can do in in the back end is that uh, you can also as daniel said that you can easily sell from from uh from the front desk you just go here in the locked in shop you can select gift card custom ones and then you just simply send it by email or print it out for the guest and take money into your post system also of course we have full-blown reports to do sale uh, refunding sales reports pretty much every every detail that you you need from the gift card sales and also a very uh, specific uh, uh, tools for, for bookkeeping, which is more than happy to receive this tool because as Daniel told that typically they are in Excel sheets or paper pieces somewhere lying around and that is some total mayhem. So this is uh, the name, as is said, it's a, a hoist gift card manager. So it takes all the way from the online sales to, to front desk day sales and also reporting and redeeming and so forth. Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think it's really important just to pause there for a second is yep. not the gift cards. The other thing you really need to think about as a, as a hotelier is, is, is once the redemption has started, being, being it fully or partial, uh, is about how you audit and account for that and what's been used and what hasn't and avoid duplication, somebody using the gift card twice, for example, uh, when they don't have the rights to do so. And the beauty of the platform is that the intelligence is built in such a way to give you absolutely instant access to that 
um, so that you can instantly, or your finance team can instantly interrogate what's been consumed, what hasn't. Um, there's VAT input data there, if applicable. You know, it's 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 a whole. Back, we're not going to get into it in detail today. Um, we can we we'll joyously set up another another call on that some other time if if. if anyone if demand is there um, but the point is this it's not only just about the lovely front end of the gift card but it's about how you administer those gift cards and account for them as well and this is all built into the technology back to you Terry. yeah yeah and uh, i think that was a very quick uh, walkthrough about the product itself and a demo how the, the shop works and how the back end works so i'm, I'm free for questions Fantastic. Let's maybe go to the questions now. I know the audience has been uh, has been very patient with us on that. The first question, let's just check that we've addressed some of these or all of them. Can you please tell us how to redeem the voucher online via the web page of the hotel stroke booking engine? Um, I think Tara just walked you you through that, Katrin, but if there is a, if there's any more you'd like to know, or if indeed you'd like someone to sit down with you and show you that in more detail, I appreciate you know, we have a limited time slot today, uh, then drop us a note at marketing at hoistgroup.com or put it into, um, or put it into the, uh, into the chat here and we'll make sure that somebody sits down with you. But thank you for your question. And hopefully that was, that showed you how easy it is. The next question is, do you use, this is from Fleming, do you use loyalty programs to endorse and redeem gift cards? Who wants to pick up on that one? Tara, maybe? Yeah, well, um, some some customers do. They have some loyalty programs, and they offer you know loyal customers uh, special gift cards, for example, uh, with the hidden links. So so uh, because we can create in a shop, for example, hidden links or areas where only some some customers can buy, or we can give uh, better better deals with promotional codes for loyal customers. So in that sense, uh, uh, we we can support loyalty programs. Thank Hopefully you. that answers the question. Thank you. Again, if you want more data, drop us a line at marketing at hoistgroup.com and we will make sure that the right person comes and chats to you in your local language. Um, there is a question now from uh, Carrie, I think is, is how you pronounce that. Forgive me if I've got it wrong. Do you restrict the gift cards to certain times or how do you adjust the offer when you work with dynamic rates? I'll try to answer that. Uh, so especially the packages, what it typically is done that you create the same package in gift card shop and then you create the same package in PM, PMS system. So uh, typically we use promotional codes, for example, that is attached to a rate code. So it follows that rate code. Uh, but of course, uh, dynamic rates, uh, it means that, you know, if you create... Um, uh, that rate code needs to be stable. So, but that rate is typically not offered to anybody else except that those gift cards. So, you need to create the gift card both in gift card shop and also in PMS system to be the same product. So that's how you handle those. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for that, Tarot. Stay on, stay on with us. I think there's another one coming your way. This time yeah. from Mohammed, and the question is, what is the recognized? It's two questions for Mohammed actually. Number one is, what is the recognized payment portals in the different regions? Uh, and question number two is, is, can this be interfaced with SPA and Golf and POS systems? Yeah, just a moment. Uh, yeah, so we are, uh, for the online shop, we support m many different payment gateways. Uh, in, I would say that it depends a bit on, on the region, but uh, just to mention some are uh, Ingenigo, Aduan, NetAx, Nets products, uh, some Scandinavian portals. Uh, uh, 3C Planet Payments. So there's a, quite many payment providers that we support and you can find them and ask for it from, from your sales. Fantastic, thank you for that. And in terms of integrations or interfaces with third-party systems like Spar and Golf or, or POS systems? We have already made some integrations to, to of course, to our own, own PMS system and, uh, and some POS systems. Uh, and uh, of course, we have also all the APIs if somebody wants to or, or want to create those uh, those uh, integrations, and also those listing integrations can be get from sales. But uh, there's there's few examples. Fantastic. So again, Mohammed, um, drop us a note at marketingoystergroup.com, and we will get you in touch with the right person for your region to talk you through that in more detail, specific to 
specific to where you are in the world and what it is that you want to offer. Uh, another question from Fleming here is, do you have a calculation of extra sales when the gift card, when the, when the customer pays with gift cards? Cards. The short answer is yes, Fleming. I'd recommend you to go to the website, spacegroup.com, and go to the gift card manager campaign pages. There is a calculator there. That calculator is built on the back of historic data that we have been seeing across our thousand plus customers for the last, um, you know, for the last five plus years as we've built up this side of the business. So it's built on, on real rates. Um, put in your, your approximate sort of star rating put in your, your room numbers in it, and it should generate a number based on that. If you want to go into more details, again, drop us a note. Uh, hopefully by now you know the address. I don't need to repeat it, but just in case, marketing at hoistgroup.com, and we'll make sure that the right person gets, uh, gets in touch with you. What I'd also maybe like to ask uh, Daniel and Johani here, whilst we've got them on, on, on the line, is it's not only just about sales. For me, it's also about new sales. So uh, the question, I guess, to both of you gents is, you know, what impact have you seen to not just sell, but actually grow the amount of sell? Because you have your, you know, your OTA business, your direct website business, your groups and, and events business as well, potentially. You know, how has gift cards helped you enable a broader sell there? Yeah, so uh, for us, overall, if we just think about gift cards, we've, we've been growing the, just the gift card sales over 70% every year uh, since since we started. So so I think it, it overall shows that people value the, uh, the offering and the product that we are having. Uh, on the other hand, we haven't kind of concluded that what's the overall value in a, in a kind of brand perspective or customer loyalty that if you buy gift cards, do, you, do we then see the direct correlation in some other sales as well? So we haven't actually compared that, but we do see that the, the digital sales go, goes hand, hand in hand so that we do see that it, there's some correlations, but, but we haven't, it's, a, it's actually an interesting question. Yeah, it's a great question from, uh, from uh, from Fleming there as well. Uh, Daniel, have you seen cannibalization of other distribution channels since you introduced gift cards? We see that lots of people are doing it online, buying it online, but I can't say how I don't have anything to compare with. Uh, but we see it to be on uh, lots of gift cards. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we have a little bit more to work to do. <laughs> the analysis needs to be done. Well, you've got the back end tool for that. So we can plug that into your systems and hopefully we can figure that out. Um, Fleming, again, likewise, let's, let's, that's, a, that's a whole sort of session in itself. Let's, let's take that one offline. We'd be very happy to get uh, the relevant people in front of you to discuss that with you and to share, obviously, anonymized data because uh, for GDPR and business confidentiality reasons. Uh, but anonymized data on, on, on what you can realist, realistically expect. But a great place, a great place to start is, is on the website on the calculator tool. Um, there is a, another question from Katrin, and she's saying, is it possible with all booking engines, or do you need the hoist booking engine for, um, uh, for, for the sale of, of, of gift cards? Um, Taro, maybe you want to answer that one. Yeah, so definitely with the hoist boogie engine, we have uh, the integration. And uh, there's also the API so that somebody somebody with wants to create another boogie engine, that, that is possible. We'd, of course, promote our own first. That goes without saying, but that's why we're here. But no, the, the short answer is that the, the, the architecture of the system is designed to work with as many systems as, as, as is reasonably possible, and, and hence the... You know, the API architecture is is is, is driving that. Um, so again, get in touch with us. We'd be delighted to talk you through that. Um, question from Camilla: Can you add time periods to different gift cards in the system? For example, a certain gift card can only be sold during a time frame. For example, only during a specific month or so. And I guess as an extension to that question, you know, is there is there a, is is there a, an expiry? date on, on gift cards. I, I'm adding that, Camilla hasn't asked, but it probably sits together as part of the same sort of area of questions. 
Uh, again, Tero, do you want to do you want to do you want to respond on that? <laughs> yes, and and sorry for sharing my screen too long, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so yeah, so you can define uh, a time period so that, for example, this that sale is starting from certain date to certain date, even per hour. So, for example, in, in Black Friday, you can define that these cards will come visible on twenty second at six a.m. So you can define it very cl uh, clearly that when the cards come and when they vanish from the shop in order to, to prepare, for example, for Black Friday or Christmas season. And also the, the actual expiry dates can be defined even that a card can be valid only for a day or, or six months or 36, 36 months, whatever. So it, there's a very flexible uh, options for that. Fantastic. And then the last question I think is, from Christian, and again, maybe Daniel and Johanny are, are best placed to answer this one. And this is really sort of gift card 101, I guess. And the question from Christian is, can you please advise what would be a good typical set of gift cards to start with? How do you kick this whole thing off? I think he's asking. Who wants to come in on that? Daniel, do you want to start? <laughs> I can start with that. We started first with uh, a free value. That was the first thing we put up uh, just to see what happened uh, and just to get, um, uh, yeah, I think Tero did the free value for us. And then after that, we are putting up the package. But the first few months, we had just the free value. And that was uh, one of the best, I think, just then. And then we did the package when we understand how it worked when we had the intro, uh, the kickoff, uh, how uh, the gift card manager worked. But it's quite easy. Um, and yeah, try to explore by your hotel what you have. And yeah, just use it. To start small, get used to it and build it up from there, I think is what you're doing. Yeah. Yanni, tell us, tell us about camp collection. Similar approach or something completely radical? <laughs> It was so many years ago that I don't re remember all the mistakes that we did. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I, I would say that you, you would need to look at your own brand uh, and, and services that you're offering. And then, then kind of think that what would be the best combination, what you want to offer. Of course, start with the uh, open gift card. That's always the easiest. Uh, and But then add, add something, some package product, something that might not otherwise be able to, to offer and, and use the, the services that you have. If you're having spa, use spa treatments. If you're having uh, restaurants with dinners, put those together, try, try a few different things and, and, and then follow up that what is actually selling and then take away of those products that doesn't sell and, and try something else. So you have to learn how, what, what is actually driving the sales and one, one kind of uh, notice is that don't try to put everything uh, online as a gift for gift card. So don't try to put everything that you're selling <laughs> to be available as gift card, because if there's too many options, customers don't know what to buy. So you need to select the top things that you want to sell. Like if you have spa, select one or three top spa treatments. If you have restaurant and hotel, select one or two of maximum of three different products with, with, with those two. So start small, then scale it up. Learn and change. Well, that sounds like excellent advice from both of you. Thank you for that. That's really good insight. Folks, are there any final questions? We've got a few minutes left. Uh, feel free to drop them into the Q&A function or the chat function. We're monitoring both channels. Um, if not the case, then I would just like to, first of all, say thank you so much to our panellists, uh, to Daniel, to Yohani, uh, and to Tero, and to Andreas as well, who's put a huge amount into this, uh, and to my team, to Mohammed and Louise and Nair and the team for organising uh, the Zoom and everything here. It's been a, it's been a fantastic session. Uh, we did record it, as I, as I mentioned, uh, so we will make it available. So feel free to share it with your colleagues or friends 
or whomever careful to share it with your loved one they might they may require a package from you as a result a gift card so so be careful how you how you handle that one um, but if you've got any more questions do drop us a note at marketing at hoistgroup.com and we'll make sure that we push you to the right person and finally please do visit the website go to hoistgroup.com and go to the gift card manager campaign pages there where you'll pick up a heck of a lot more info uh, and, and, and other aspects of gift card as a, as, as a platform and as a proposition. Uh, but once again, just to say massive thank you. Uh, have a great day. Stay safe. And hopefully we're going to come and see more of you soon now that we are allowed to travel again. So thanks, everybody. Take care and see you soon. Bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.